Welcome to Your Town Television Program. My name is Jeff Klein, and I'm your host for the Naval Postgraduate School segment of this outstanding local television show. Today we have a special guest with us to kick off our first segment, uh, our President, Vice Admiral Ron Rout. Welcome to the show. Well, it's great to be here. Thank you. Before we uh, actually talk about the great aspects of the, uh, and all the uh, wonderful things about the Naval Postgraduate School. Let's learn a little bit about more about you. So uh, you've obviously had a long and distinguished career in the Navy before you accepted the uh, President's position here uh, in the Monterey area. So tell us a little bit about how you joined the Navy and what your experiences were like. Well, to begin with, uh, four years at the Naval Academy and after that 36 years and a little more uh, in uniform in the Navy. I was a surface warfare officer so most of my time at sea was spent aboard cruisers and destroyers and frigates and aircraft carrier now and then. Uh, I had command of a guided missile destroyer, command of a guided missile cruiser, and I commanded the George Washington uh, Carrier Strike Group. So what does a guided missile destroyer do uh, or does guided missile d uh, cruiser do? Well their major uh, job is to provide air defense for the ships that they are deployed with. Uh, but uh, they are multi-mission ships. They are uh, used for hunting submarines. Uh, they're used to support the Marines when we do operations ashore. Uh, here in the last few years, a great deal of uh, interdiction of uh, uh, either drug runners at sea or uh, uh, merchant vessels in the Persian Gulf that are carrying contraband. Uh, Wherever a ship is needed, uh, we, we would be there. Well, now, you also mentioned you had a, a carrier battle group command. Uh, that's, of course, many ships, a carrier wing, the carrier itself. That's right. Where did you deploy to, or did you get a chance to deploy? I, was, uh, I spent most of my time doing special projects because mm -hmm. the ship was in the shipyard during that period. But we got the George Washington ready for deployment to the Persian Gulf. Um, we had uh, a number of exciting times at sea with that group and uh, visited Key West, Florida, Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> yeah, that's good places. So uh, you've also had interesting shore commands uh, that may say that prepared you in some way for uh, the, the roles and responsibilities of the president of NPS. What were some of those shore commands? Well, that's, that's right, Jeff. I had commanded the, the uh, Navy Warfare Development Command in Newport, Rhode Island. I commanded the, uh, I was president of the Naval War College in Newport. Uh, my final tour in the Navy for three years was as the Inspector General, uh, during which time we uh, went around the world and we were the conscience of the Navy. Uh, CNO, we were another set of eyes and ears for the CNO and the Secretary of the Navy, so we could tell them how well policy was being implemented throughout the Navy and could suggest ways we could do things better. Well, uh, most important for this particular show is the fact that you're also a Naval Postgraduate School graduate. So in, as we transition to talk about the school, and uh, what I'd like to know is what did you study and how did you apply it in the service? Well, I study operations research, which is uh, uh, applied mathematics using various ways to, to try to better understand uh, how things work in the world. I like to think that operations research is life. <laughs> uh, uh, that that is a, happens to be a curriculum that you can uh, you can use what I learned here 40 years ago as a student in every single job I ever had in the Navy, whether it was aboard ship, whether it was in the Pentagon working on programs and budgets, uh, doing analytical work of all kinds. Uh, that it, it was a great start for me. And helping your decisions at sea as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, uh, that's a perfect uh, lead-in, actually, to the fact of what our students do after they make full <coughs> careers of the Navy. What we'd like to do now is show uh, our guests the uh, uh, video of the Naval Postgraduate School. Uh, it's a couple of minutes long, but it gives you a great appreciation for both its breadth and depth and uh, technical and academic capabilities. So let's watch that. Located adjacent to California's majestic Monterey Bay stands one of the world's leading institutions of higher education, the Naval Postgraduate School. At NPS, more than 100 years of graduate education for officers of the U.S. Armed Forces, international partners, and DOD civilians have led a unique strategic resource in American national security, a university where leaders across the Department of Defense fine-tune their respective crafts. 
At NPS, our mission is quite simple. We educate America's war fighters, along with those of our partners and those who support them, with an advanced, unique graduate education that is truly one of a kind. Curricula at NPS cover a broad swath of national security's most critical needs. Cyber operations, management, information operations, national security studies, and many more. But in spite of the variance among our diverse programs of study, all are grounded in the core values of leadership and advanced critical thinking, skills our students will use the rest of their careers and beyond. These programs and curricula include, but are not limited to, the Cyber Academic Group, where NPS uniquely combines national and cybersecurity courses into a disciplined chemistry of operations, research, and complex thinking, enabling graduates the ability to support cyber-dependent missions, functions, and focus objectives within the cyber domain. The Space Systems Group, where students endowed with advanced knowledge amassed from cutting-edge, defense-related research. Through the Space Systems Academic Group, I've been given the opportunity to learn about space systems operations and apply my previous operational experience to identify and solve tomorrow's problems. The knowledge that we gain here at MPS today will become a force multiplier for the fleet tomorrow. Well, I'm here studying information warfare systems engineering. What's really unique about the military student body here at postgraduate school is how all of us have come from five to ten years of operational experience. So we've come right out of the infantry units, right out of the wing, uh, straight from Afghanistan in some cases, straight from uh, Mew and ARG shipping, uh, forward deployed around the world. And we're here now in the academic environment. So we, uh, we bring to our thesis and to our academic studies, all of that operational experience, and we see our academics through that lens of operations. So when we leave here with our degrees and our theses completed, we'll take that back to the operational forces and enhance the operational forces with the knowledge that we've gained and leave them better than we found them. My name is Brenton Campbell. I'm a physics student here at the Naval Postgraduate School working in robotics in the Advanced Robotics Systems Engineering Laboratory. Here what we're trying to do is take small, relatively inexpensive robots and make it so that a single operator can control the many, unlike what we're doing mostly operationally now where we have a group of people controlling one very high-end autonomous vehicle. My biggest takeaway from NPS is how much a group of people with diverse academic concentrations can accomplish. I'm a physics student, but I work with students in the computer science, systems engineering, and operations research departments. We all have our unique perspectives, and because of that, we're able to accomplish a lot more than if we're all in the same curriculum. Across the street from campus is Monterey Bay itself, which provides open ocean ranges, and the California National Guard's Camp Roberts provides uncontrolled airspace for leading UAV and other research opportunities unmatched anywhere else in the U.S. The greatest strength of the Naval Postgraduate School is its world-class faculty. Many are leaders in their fields, like Professor Guillermo Owen of the Math Department, twice nominated for the Nobel Prize, or Douglas Porch of National Security Affairs, one of the most eminent military historians of our time, and Wayne Hughes of the Operations Research Department, author of the classic Fleet Tactics. The list goes on across campus, where many NPS departments are nationally ranked. At even the finest universities, just a handful of professors focus their studies on defense. But at NPS, virtually every professor devotes considerable energy to military and security affairs. This makes for an exceptional learning experience for our students because our professors deliver their lectures directly. At NPS, there are no teaching assistants. My name is Peter Morisot. I'm in the 816 curriculum, System Acquisition Management at the Business School. The goal of the 816 curriculum is to certify acquisition professionals, and for the Coast Guard, that's a core competency that we're still trying to develop. Um, Naval Postgraduate School provides the best means to do that in a defense major acquisition uh, setting with a lot of experience gained from the faculty and the Defense Department and their acquisition core as a whole. Uh, so my 
most likely career path from here is back with the Coast Guard and acquisition programs, eventually to hopefully serve as a project manager on a major acquisition. And the world comes to our door seeking our expertise. NPS provides a robust educational experience for our allies and partners across the globe. There have been more than 5,500 officers from over 100 countries who have attended NPS. I have a classmates from everywhere in the world here, such as uh, Chile or Colombia, Mexico, Germany, Tunisia. After graduating, these international students have gone back to their home countries to rise to the highest levels within their militaries, and some have gone on to become leaders in government or business. We are proud to have been a part of their legacy. NPS has over 50,000 graduates, with alumni who range from admirals to astronauts, service chiefs to chief executives. They represent all of the U.S. military, government agencies, defense industry leaders, and many more. NPS fulfills the graduate education needs of the Department of the Navy, DOD, and U.S. government by granting master's degrees, PhDs, and offering subspecialty in both military and professional education certificates. NPS will continue to provide relevant graduate education that meets the needs of our nation. Well, Admiral, what a great appreciation for uh, the Naval Postgraduate School in that video. Uh, many of the locals, including uh, when I first got here, I heard them say that we're the Navy School, but the video really shows the diverse uh, uh, students that we have from different services and different countries. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that and maybe some of the reinforce some of the curriculum they talked about what we teach? Well, certainly, the, we, are, we are truly blessed with the students that we have here. I think uh, when you talk to faculty, they feel privileged to be able to be part of this here. Our students uh, uh, are younger. They're uh, uh, in their second or third tours. They're mid-grade officers uh, coming from ships, coming from uh, Army units or Marine units, uh, all of whom have had some kind of operational experience. Uh, so they come here with that, uh, with that background, and they're able to apply what they had experienced in their in their profession to the educational experience. So we we help them think differently. When you uh, go through this uh, education process, you learn how to think critically, how to how to design problems and get data and answer tough questions. Uh, learn the kind of skills that uh, will help you as a more senior officer uh, in your field as well as working uh, staff work. The students are here anywhere from 18 months to 24 months, uh, to two years, and yet uh, they are integrate themselves into our local community. They uh, go to churches, they join civic uh, institutions, they attend, their kids attend their schools, the PTAs are filled by the spouses. So uh, what are some of the other activities our students do to integrate themselves in the local area? Well, there are a number of volunteer opportunities that our students have. We have a, a program we call Breakfast for Your Brain where our students come to the library on a Saturday morning and we have a number of local uh, students uh, who are there for tutoring. Uh, it started out with uh, mathematics but it has uh, blossomed in, into other areas. We have a good relationship with the Monterey Public School System liaison officer who is uh, the link between the, the military and the Navy here and the local schools and that person helps us set up these opportunities for our students. We have uh, a number of students on their own go out uh, and uh, volunteer their time with uh, local ROTC units, uh, talking to high school folks, you know, giving them a better understanding of what uh, the military is about and what they might be able to do in their future. And then we're really proud of a summer program we have uh, with the uh, uh, scientific and technical community where uh, our Office of Naval Research helps us fund uh, between uh, 80 and 90 high school and college age students every summer to come and work on our laboratories. So these are students who uh, are doing some amazing things already in their classroom, but they come to see what a, what a real working laboratory is like and what kinds of opportunities might be available to them to stick with this program.
That's great. Now, are some of these opportunities on our website, the www.mps.edu website? They are. Okay, That's great. That's correct, yeah. Well, we'll invite people to actually attend that. The other thing the video talked about and gave us a good appreciation for was just the uh, variety and capability of our faculty. Can you talk a little bit about them? Well, I think um, uh, most importantly, our faculty understand us. They understand the military. They understand uh, the challenges. Uh, they. Uh, are, are they're very smart obviously they they are experts in their field but they they apply what they know to common problems that we have to help us produce uh, officers who can think on the battlefield outthink the enemy and to can do research uh, in areas which are important for our government our our defense uh, to understand how we might be more effective in combat. Now, are our faculty all ex-military, or uh, do they come from different areas? They come from different areas. Okay. I think altogether about 25% uh, of our civilians have uh, military backgrounds. But, uh, but our, our un unusual among military kinds of colleges and universities, uh, about 95% of our faculty are civilians. So that, that gives them a, d a deep experience to be able to present to our students as well. Right. Uh, well, tell us a little bit about our research programs. We're going to be featuring uh, research uh, as part of the different segments uh, for this particular show. But just as a broad brush, uh, some of the highlights that we have at MPS uh, with both our, uh, that involve our students and our faculty. Well, first of all, uh, understand that we are teaching graduate programs here only. So. Uh, as is in common in, in civilian universities, our, all of our faculty are required to do research. Mm -hmm. That's a big part of what they, what they do. That keeps them at the cutting edge of their field, whatever that academic endeavor happens to be, helps uh, pass that uh, knowledge on to our students so that they're best prepared, uh, informs the curriculum, and uh, often does research in areas which are important to our service. So uh, I think uh, it's, it's, a, it's a national treasure that we have here with our faculty. And we'll be highlighting some of that uh, research today uh, in our next segment, our Consortium for Robotics, Unmanned Systems, Education and Research. Um, we only have about a minute left. Tell me what you enjoy most about being the president of the Naval Postgraduate School. Uh, the, the most important thing and the, what I enjoy most is uh, there is not a day that goes by that I don't learn something new either from students or from faculty or staff. It's a, it's a tremendous experience for all of us, and we all come together in this great education environment. Well, Admiral, thank you very much for being with us today. And you've been with uh, your town ra uh, television program. Our next segment will be on in a moment, and we'll be featuring one of our uh, primary research projects there. Uh, please join us and stay tuned for the next segment featuring the Naval Postgraduate School.